Uh, Madam Secretary, uh, thank you uh, very much for the uh, wonderful, extraordinary job uh, that you're doing as our Secretary of State. I know Mr. Manzullo talked about your Illinois roots. You mentioned the New York Minute before, and New York is very, very, very proud of you. So thank you for everything you, you've done. I want to throw out a few things and then just ask you to, to comment on, on anything you'd, you'd like to comment on. Um, I just uh, come back from uh, Israel, trip to Israel, and uh, met with uh, top uh, leaders, and all anyone wanted to really talk about is Iran. I know we've had a lot of discussion here uh, about about Iran, but um, obviously um, it's a very serious uh, situation, and uh, we all agree that Iran must not be allowed to have a nuclear weapon, and I really believe that ultimately nothing should be taken off the table because they, they really uh, must not be allowed to have a, a, a nuclear uh, w weapon. Um, Syria. I was the author, as you know, of the Syria Accountability Act, uh, which slapped sanctions on Syria for aiding and abetting terrorism. I know that uh, just last week we have now uh, opened uh, diplomatic relations with them, exchanged ambassadors with them for the first time in many, many years. Um, I, I know that the rationale for it probably is to, to get them to uh, engage and, and help, but frankly, I haven't seen any change. This is the game Syria has been playing for years and years. I haven't seen any change in that, in that regime's behavior. Maybe uh, perhaps there's something going on behind the scenes that I'm not uh, privy to, but um, I, I'm wondering if you, could, if you can comment uh, on, on that. Um, we, we talk about Iran, um, the dissidents in Iran. I, I know that the feeling in, in some quarters is that we don't want to publicly identify with them too much because it will just uh, help the regime to uh, uh, say that the dissidents are, are just agents of the United States. But I really think that we need to have more uh, public uh, support uh, for the brave people of Iran who are standing up under extraordinary conditions uh, against uh, against their, uh, their regime. Um, uh, Kosovo. Um, I just turned two years old last week, and uh, uh, we're trying very hard to get uh, other countries to, to recognize them. I know the administration has been doing that as well. Um, uh, with the officials of, of Kosovo, they are uh, very interested in getting into the EBRD, which is the European Bank for Reconstruction Development. Uh, they need some uh, countries to, to vote them in, and I would hope that behind the scenes we are uh, uh, helping to convince countries to, to support them in that. Uh, I want to quickly talk about, since I chair the Western Hemisphere Subcommittee, a couple of those issues. First, first of all, thank you for the extraordinary effort of you personally and the administration with, with Haiti. Um, this has been, been something that, of course, has all, has all gripped us, and uh, I think that uh, it's very, very important. I'm delighted to hear of your upcoming travel to Latin America. Uh, I think that we are, we are re-engaging the hemisphere after years of neglect, and I think it's very, very important. And I want to talk about drug policy. I believe that we need a more holistic approach to our counter-narcotic strategy in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, I support strongly the Andean Counter-Drug Initiative, the Merida Initiative, and the Caribbean Base Security Initiative, but I think we need to do a better job in weaving all of these things together. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. What efforts are you taking to better integrate these efforts? Um, so that our successes in certain countries don't contribute to problems in other countries. Um, I personally have suggested uh, designating a coordinator at the State Department to oversee all our Western Hemisphere security initiatives. And would you consider doing this? Would you think about this? And lastly, uh, two, two comments. Number one, Venezuela. Yesterday, the OAS's human rights agencies criticize Venezuela for its deteriorating human rights situation, and this follows their recent condemnation of Chavez's closure of RCTV and several other cable TV stations. So how are we working with our partners in the OAS to call attention to this? And finally, as was mentioned before, I'm extremely concerned about the uh, Cuban imprisonment of USAID contractor Alan Gross. I met with his wife yesterday at the Capitol, and he was to say everyone's concerned. So if you could comment on any or all of those things, I'd appreciate it. 30 seconds. Well, Congressman, um, I, I will certainly uh, give you responses to these important uh, issues uh, in writing. Let me just briefly say on Syria, the President decided to return an ambassador uh, because it's in our national interest to do so. This is not in any way uh, a reward uh, because there is no basis for such a, a reward for Syria. 
but it is uh, because we think having an ambassador on the ground in Damascus helps to ensure our national interests are taken care of and also to avoid uh, strategic miscalculation on the, parts of the, uh, the part of the Syrians. So we are very committed uh, to making clear to the Syrians uh, what we expect, uh, and there's a lot that we do expect, uh, but we think having uh, an ambassador back on the ground actually gives us more leverage and more opportunity to uh, pursue uh, those expectations. And uh, I think I'm... Am I done? Yeah, yeah, I could... Yeah. <laughs> the time of the gentleman has expired.